Welcome to another episode of Captain Radio Adventures. For a dedicated antenna, we will be using the NY4G NPED half wave. This is the QRP version, and it's uh, it has a dedicated 60 meter extension that I will show you. Um, so this is uh, a 40 meter half wave with a 60 meter extension. So there is the apex of the antenna. It's an inverted V with an apex of about 20 feet. This is the 60 meter extension and this adds about 10 feet of length to the, to the antenna. So the overall length of this antenna now is about 76 feet in an inverted V. Uh, next we will check the SWR and here the SWR uh, dips to about 1.4 at uh, 5350 kilohertz and uh, and the width of the of the dip is is broad enough to cover the entire 60 meter band so now we have connected the antenna to the inside of the shack through this uh, coupler which goes in through the wall into the interior of the shack. Well, I'm back in the shack, and the first thing we'll check is the weight and the dimensions of this QCX Mini. Uh, the weight comes out to 204 grams. Dimensions are about three and a, three and a quarter by two and a quarter, and the thickness is about an inch. So that gives you an idea of the size. Now we'll connect it to, uh, to an antenna and uh, power. Uh, note that there is no on and off switch. You turn it on by plugging in power. Now you can change the tuning rate by pushing this knob and you can change the the units but you're limited to these three positions so i can go to 332 and in this position i can change those increments and then you can change the the vfos And you can have a um, two VFO display uh, between A and B, and B is now set to 5332. Now I have connected a, uh, a speaker and the key. And I've set this the the keyer speed to twenty one. The keyer speed can be changed by pushing this button. And and changing it with this dial. From the picture in the manual, it looks like they've set it up as the default receive VFO is 14 uh, is is VFO A, and the transmit VFO is VFO B. CW offset is menu item 3.8, and it can be changed by pressing and adjusting it to whatever your liking is. Since I like 600 hertz, that's what I'll set it at. To 
enable straight key mode, let's say you're trying to key up and check your power output in a later uh, de demonstration, it's much easier to set the keyer speed to zero than going into the keyer menu to let's select straight key. The speed of zero is effectively a straight key mode. Now, this time, I've uh, stored the five um, CW frequencies for 60 meters onto the presets. There are 16 total presets, but there are only five channels. So I have saved all five channels into one, two, three, four, and five. Number one being 5.332 megahertz, number two being 5.348, number three being 5.358.5, number four being 5.373, and number five being 5.405 megahertz. And how you do that is select the BFO and then double click this VFO um, this this is called the ex exit button double click it and this will give you the uh, that's a shortcut to get you the presets so five four three two one and so if I want to store um, five point zero five point four oh five into memory number five all I have to do is press the exit key and I would set that by changing the VFO frequency once I'm in the VFO. So whatever the VFO frequency is, is, is what will get stored. So if I press the exit key, um, 5.405 will be in memory number 5. And it's still in memory number 5 because that's uh, what, what it was before. Another trick or another thing you can do with the VFOs is you can uh, swap the VFO A into VFO B by uh, a long press and a short one, sort of like the, the letter N in CW. And now uh, VFO B is now the same as VFO A. Now, if you want to put uh, the VFO B frequency into VFO A, um, what you this, what you press now is uh, like a D, a long press and uh, a double click after the long press, sort of like a D in CW. And now you have uh, VFO A is now the same as VFO B. Now I have connected um, an external watt meter. This is an um, Oak Hills Research Precision QRP watt meter. And I've set the speed to zero, as you can see on the, on the QCX Mini. The speed set to zero, so it's effectively sending straight key. And let's look at the power output. So right around 5 watts. So we know that the QCX Mini S built is putting out full power at 12 volts. I'm connected to a... Uh, uh, a 12 volt supply here just a battery in which has a 12 volt supply I've set the speed again to 20 words per minute and uh, we'll be sending CW using this big alley adventure that's connected to my to my KX3 but the key, the key itself is connected to the QCX mini
it the keyer, the internal keyer takes a little bit of getting used to. Let's go through the menu system. Uh, one is the presets, and uh, these are the preset frequencies. Preset one being 332, 348, 358, 373, and 405. And this is the escape button. And then messages. Um, I have the message interval set five seconds. If I want to send a message, in a, if I want to repeat it, it'll wait five seconds before it sends it again. And then I, I have set it for one repeat. Now these items can be edited by selecting. So you can select zero repeats or one repeat and then escape. And then message number one is uh, CQ Soda DE NY4G. Actually, it's NY4G, NY4G K. You can't see the entire message, but you can have up to up to 100 characters in the message. And the VFO uh, will be VFO A is the mo default VFO for receiving. The keyer. The keyer I've selected is iambic B. That seems to be where my what I'm most comfortable with. The decoder. Um, this has a built-in decoder, which has certain parameters. Um, and these are the parameters that are in, that are the default ones. Noise noise blanking is set ten. Uh, speed average is set to seven. Amplitude average is set to sixty. Um, in it, enable RX. That's the receive um, decode. And you can also decode what you're sending on CW. Um, enabling edit. Um, and this one I've set to off. It's uh, referen referencing the, the SK stroke VA key, which I don't really understand quite right now. And if anybody understands that, leave it in the comments below. So those are related to the decoder. Now there's a beacon mode that you can turn on. And, um, and you can change it by going from CW to whisper to FSK. And I'm going to set the beacon mode to whisper because I've set my whisper parameters also. Escape out of this one. Uh, frequency for this is the one of the frequencies for whisper for 60 meters. It has to be between 5.288.6 and 5.288.8. And there's a frame uh, parameter that's set, and there's a start parameter. The start just keeps, you can set the delay from, uh, from the, the start of the, of the clock to, let's, I'm setting it to once every 10 minutes, that's this frame. It'll send a whisper message once every 10 minutes. And um, this start is the, uh, on the fourth minute from the hour is where it, it, when it will start. A whisper call is NY4G. Well, my whisper locator is EM85. And whisper power is set to 37. That's not watts. It's one of the whisper parameters. It's uh, 37 dBm, which corresponds to 5 watts. Um, I've set my time. This is the real time clock that I'm that I've set to. Uh, and the mode is whisper. Escape out of this one. This is the other 
which I won't get into. Um, I've set the battery into on. You can set the off or on. And my battery full is is uh, twelve thousand milliamps. Uh, no, it's twelve volts. This is the voltage. Twelve volts. Twelve. 12,000 millivolts, so 12 volts. And the battery step is for every 1,000 millivolts is the step. And there's a chart in the manual um, to tell you whether the battery is full or not um, uh, based on the number of steps. And then I won't go into any other alignment uh, menus, test equipment menus, um, save settings um, okay so I've got everything saved and um, let's see if we can send the message um, if I do a, a long press on this tuning knob it'll send uh, the message I've stored in um, in memory in, in message one Oops. I didn't do okay I, I think I found the problem with not sending the message I had my beacon set to whisper and I really need to to set beacon off if I'm going to operate normally so let's try that again so I do a long press and do a, another press with this rotary knob so that sends uh, your CQ, uh, let's say you're on a summit, and um, instead of keying in your um, your your CQ with a paddle, you can just send the preset message using uh, the long press and the and the short press on the rotary knob. Well. That's about it. Uh, let's try calling CQ uh, using the, the paddle. Well, that's the basic operation and settings for the QS, QCX Mini. It is a really good um, for all the features. The manual is about 52 pages long, so there's a lot to be uh, understood in the manual. And it takes quite a bit of time to read through each menu system. But once you um, step through the settings, it become second nature after a while i hope you enjoyed it and um, i'll leave a link for um, getting the the N, my ny4g nfed half wave antenna in the in the description and um, and if you like th this content please please uh hit the like button and uh, i still need more subscribers so if you want to be a subscriber hit the subscribe button and uh, click on the bell for notifications uh, thanks for watching and uh, hope to see you on a summit uh, so uh, 73s from ny4g thank you